Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 8, called Night Talk. Night of the Hawk. Uh, try to say that five times fast. Uh, so the team rising Orca in 1958, per the um, tip they got from the previous episode, from the wave, the Akron. So they arrive in Oregon in 1958 to investigate a series of murders uh, tied to Savage. So they infiltrate a mental institution, and then Sarah discovers that Savage is a psychiatrist there under another name. Then Ray and Kendra pose as a married couple to inv investigate the suburbs, but discover that Savage was there as well. And... Elsewhere, Jax is attacked by a humanoid birdoid creature created by Savage from a Inf met metal meteorite, similar to the one that gave Kendra and Carter their powers. And Jax is abducted by the local sheriff and delivered to Savage. Then the team decides to go after Savage at the institution, where he has already infected Jax with the Inf metal and transformed into one of the creatures. And basically, what happens is that when the team arrives, first of all, it's in the 50s, uh, it kind of like a Almost like a River, Riverdale vibe from what um, I've heard about the comics and stuff. I never actually I haven't seen the show. But it had that type of vibe in it from like the posters I've seen and stuff. So anyway, it was just a very weird episode. And basically what they did was they lived in this place in the suburbs. And they go to a dinner party. Uh, Savage does not know Kendra. She doesn't, he doesn't recognize her and all this type of stuff. So what they did was while they were off battling, um, or like throw out the episode, well, first Jax had a crush on a girl and racism is kind of apparent in the episode. It's not great. And, um, I like that they are, they dove into a little bit of social issues. I cannot talk today, but I really feel like that was a nice little nudge of like how they handle it and stuff like that. And, um, he basically, he was crushing on this girl and the other people were not having it. And people just kind of want them out of town. Even when Kendra and Ray went to the, uh, party where Savage was, people were assumed that she was a maid or a waitress or something and not actually his wife. Which is just kind of crazy. So, anyway, so, um, and so, anyway, the sheriff adopts Jax and, um, Savage injected him with the metal and the, the or, anyway, he turns into one of the bird creatures who look ugly as F that he refers as their children. Of course, her children look white, but anyway. So, uh, Kendra fails to kill Savage because Ray straight down to an atom, retrieved uh, one of the daggers from Savage, but Kendra fails to kill him, and so he escapes. Then the rest of the team managed to recapture Jax. It's Stein and Gideon to create a serum that cures Jax and other victims. And so they're about to leave, where um, then Cronus arrives and storms the ship, forcing the wave rider to quickly leave, st uh, stranding Ray, Sarah, and Kendra in 1958. Wow. Um, this episode was, again, uh, I'll give this a slightly higher, I'll give it a solid B. It was pretty good. I think they were starting to move in the right direction as the, um, season went on. So, it was, at first it was kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, but it, I think they're progressively getting better. So, this was still a pretty good, this was a good episode, and it was a nice little dynamic, and... Also, how Sarah was crushing on the nurse there as well. So, anyway, it's just a whole, it was just a different time period and how people acted back then. It's not as bad as today. It's still not great, but it's not as bad. So, anyway, it was a pretty good episode. I liked it. Tell me what you think down below. Any suggestions for any other TV shows, movies, or music? Also, let me know down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.